Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Niche. Oh guys, in the previous episode we did have an adventure. Oh man. Now, a lot of people aren't happy the way I play this game. They feel like I should pay more attention to the individual members of our group. It's just very hard for me to build up a connection with these guys when they die like every 15 days or so, every 15 turns. It's just not long enough for me to get attached to them. Also, I did realize that playing niche actually attracted an entire different audience to my video. So that was also uh, kind of fun to see. It's just the way I play this game. I don't know a lot about the game and therefore I'm going to make mistakes such as going onto the wrong island having troubles with the monkeys. By the way, you also explained me the monkeys from the jungle island actually. There are three types, the smelling ones, the hearing ones and the seeing ones. And you will have to have a certain genes in order to avoid them. For instance, I would presume, no, I actually already know that the stinky tail is, um, here we have the fishing tail, but it, there's also a stinky tail and that is actually useful to get rid of the smelling ape. But there we have it, so those are the genes we are gonna have to focus on. What are we gonna do next is the question. We wanted to populate this island a little bit with a couple of guys, I think. So I just needed a few healthy babies in order to get this going. So why don't we go ahead and actually continue the run here. We can take this girl to explore. Then we got the Kuvan, which just got born. So we're gonna impregnate ourselves once again. There we go. You can uncover some more stuff right there. And I think that was it for this turn. So let's continue. Great. We got another healthy baby. That is perfect. It's a, a girl. And here we got the boy. So these two guys could be our next couple. And then we could think about what we want to implement into the next design. So let's actually get rid of these two things. For instance, we could go with the stinky tail. Or what else am I gonna need? I'm gonna need some attack, right, as well. So so what about we added a claw as well. This gives us two strength and two fishing. That wouldn't be too shabby. And then we could still go for the stinky tail. Because we don't need the fishing tail if we have the fishing claw, right? Nimble fingers would also be great. I already have the cracking right here with my cracker jaw. I do believe that's what we have. Yeah, we also have a nice smelling. So why not? Adding the claw and adding the stinky tail could be our next goal. Anyways, for now, with my original parents, I want to continue exploring a little bit and collecting more stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Look at that, we got so many nests, this is incredible. So Kuvan, you are gonna be an alpha animal because I'm gonna need you to breed. You're gonna go here and you, we need to wait another day, collect some stuff here, uncover, and we can continue on our merry way. Also, Kuvan, can you actually repair the nest? No, I want you to take it apart so we get some more materials. That was great. And you're gonna go here. These are our two new parents. Let's make sure this is also an alpha animal. Very, very nice. Now it's time to explore the island and kind of check out some strategic locations that we can use in order to better survive. There's actually also a tree right here. I believe with the cracking skill you can take the acorn. I'm not sure what is actually falling down, but it does help with the food situation. Oh, we actually built this nest as well, I just realized. So we're gonna take this apart and we're actually gonna make our way to the first nest, the first real one that we discovered. Intriguing, intriguing. You're gonna open that up, collect some berries. You, of course, also need to collect berries. You need to collect berries and... Oh, what did I see there? There was something we could do with the tree. Maybe you first have to shake it for the acorns to drop down. Next uh, turn. Let's actually see that happen. Uh, yeah. I can shake it. Shake this tree. Ah, this is so cool. Did something happen? I just shook it three times. Not so sure. Let's uh, continue with you and you need to go into there. Collect the bushes, then I can take Kirkirta in order to discover more stuff up here in this area. Okay, are we gonna go around the tree here? I think so. Uncover that and move up here. Okay, we got two parents. Are you an adult? No, actually not. We need to wait for another turn or so. Yeah, probably one turn and then we can start breeding our new breed again. Our new and improved breed. 
We're doing some uh, good exploration here. I'm gonna remove that and collect some more berries. I wonder, the bushes don't look as healthy anymore for some reason. Okay, there we go. We are ready. Now we have two adults ready to breed. Let's see what we can do with them. I wanted to add, let's see, the claw. The claw is less important to me than the stinky tail, I guess. Well, actually, no. I want the claw first and then the stinky tail. Good, 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 good. Okay, we got those guys ready to breed. She is the mother, so she's gonna go here, collect some berries, and you are gonna make her pregnant. There we go. Kuvan and Lanako. That is great. Then we got a whole bunch of berries here, which of course we need to collect here as well. And then with you, we can continue up to this spot and... Oh, there's actually... Ah, there was the acorn. It actually dropped right there. Pretty cool. You are... Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can actually kill this guy and collect some more food. That was perfect. The mole. Didn't have a chance. <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of a baby we are getting. It is sick. That is one thing. And also, we didn't get the tail, etc. But that's fine. We can always use new explorers and collectors. So, you, for instance, need to collect some stuff here. Maybe shake the tree twice. You are gonna uncover this. And yeah, there we go. There was another acorn just laying on the floor for us. It's beautiful. You are gonna grab some of that fruit and some of that. Then we are gonna make our girl pregnant once again. Collect some fruit here, collect some fruit there. And you are the last one left. So we uncover that shebang, that shebang and collect some stuff. Great, okay. I can see this working out already much better. Let's see what we can come up with next. You, baby, you need to get out of the way. I think I'm gonna send you towards the coast in order to collect some shells and stuff, crack them open. As for the mother, we're going back here, collecting uh, berries. You can go there, collect the berries. You can collect these guys. You can collect those guys. Ah, it's magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. I, I like being close to a tree, actually. But there we go. Let's see. Maybe we get a good baby this time. Yeah, it is healthy. And also, we didn't get anything we wanted to, right? No stinky tail and no paw. Oh, well, that is a bummer. I think I'm actually going to skip a little bit in time in order to accomplish at least something. And once we got that, I'm gonna be right back with you. And here we go, guys. We are back. And you can see I have a couple of animals in the joint by now. I think the first generation actually died uh, by this time. With whom did we start? Yeah, Lanako and Kuwan. Those were our two guys that survived the, the jungle, if I'm not mistaken. And then we got a whole bunch of new guys, including a female called Isis. I didn't name her, but uh, she is actually the perfect candidate to continue the line. As you can see, we have now the gene claw in the joint. We still don't have the stinky tail, though we have a stinky tail up here. This guy does have it. No, that's actually a lie. This guy over here. Kirta does have the stinky tail. He's going to die in the next day. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? All right, so what is the plan? The plan is I swapped these guys around. We do now have the claw in the joint. We have it twice right here. So we just have to make sure that it persists throughout the next generation. I added a little bit of black eyes because I would like my family to have black eyes. At the moment, we do have green eyes. And also, since I've chosen this combination for some reason, a new gene might be unlocked. So if I remove that, you can see it goes gray again. So certain combinations apparently give you new genes. I'm not sure how that works or what they exactly mean, but hopefully we're going to unlock something. Anyways, let's do this. We have our female right here. Let's uh, get pregnant and move over to the nest so we can collect some more. Now, of course, our collecting skill is much, much worse than before because we only have one runner leg. But that is absolutely fine because we are collecting more than enough for what we need. Also, it's uh, very likely that we will get babies with two runner legs and those guys can just be stationed somewhere at a bush in order to collect more stuff. Okay, now I think we can continue to the next turn. This guy's gonna die, I think. No, but we had a death over there. Yeah, the stinky tail. <laughs> so you can now actually move along the coast. There's another shell to crack. 
But in the next turn, you are gonna collect a whole bunch of things, including some acorn. I actually did that the wrong way around. As soon as you have collected the acorn, you can shake the tree and there will be another one. That's how that works. We are gonna fix the nest and then collect some food and move over. And Duke here, you are gonna need to make your girl pregnant. Oh no, I just messed that totally up. I used too many moves. Oh well, we just lost one day. That's uh, no problem at all. Let's have a look at the baby. It is sick, does have the stinky tail though, but cannot really use it. I'm gonna station it somewhere at a bush to collect stuff. Alami, you are going to collect that and then move over, I guess, and collect that shell as well. Now, the way I understand it is if you have a higher cracking skill, that's the amount of food you get. Anyways, we're gonna continue collecting stuff right here and there. I guess we have to go back here and station this guy. However, we have 646 food. As long as we're making plus or stay even, we should be good. We shouldn't be too worried. I also gathered up this guy, which does have some antlers and also what is this let's have a look at the genes yeah it's not very useful it would be great to get some other immunity genes in the joint but there's so much not good with this guy that i think i'm just gonna use him to explore okay there we go we are all out of moves we are gonna move on to the next turn let's have a look at the new no the new baby isn't born yet because we haven't made our woman pregnant but there we go, collecting some stuff. You are gonna move out of the way. Let's see, I'm gonna station you at this bush over there. So we are gonna have to move up. Another shell for us to crack and there are a couple of dead guys. I think I'm gonna move up to these bushes. Though we might come across a predator. I think it was a predator that actually damaged us. But we're doing a good exploration job. I mean, this island is huge. This is enormous. This could take a while to conquer this. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look at the new baby. The new baby is healthy. Has the stinking... Wow, it is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to see. Kukirku, you are perfect. Okay, Isis, you are gonna move here and get pregnant. Move over to the other nest. Yeah, everything adds up at this point. Okay, now we got Alami stationed over here, taking care of these bushes. You are exploring, you are taking care of these two bushes. We have someone walking over there. Yeah, I think we are doing pretty good, pretty good. We just need to get another really good baby. Let's see if we are lucky. We got that, we got the sti- wow. Is it a boy? Is this a girl? No, it's two boys, but both of them are perfect. Oh, well, so we could use the first boy in order to do some more exploration and the second boy we're gonna use for further breathing. All the bushes regroup, so we have a bunch of collecting to do. Let's see, I could actually move over here in order to kill off this guy. Then you are gonna move here, collect berries and get pregnant again. We need a girl that is perfect as well. All right, with you, I can finally walk towards the bush. I want you to be stationed here so I have a better overview. You are gonna move here and kill this guy, collect berries. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're making, oh no, I just killed the bush accidentally, jeez. Oh well, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? We can survive without it. And then I got some moves left with you. I think I'm gonna move you up here to these bushes. That might be a good idea. Okay, with that out of the way, we got this turn finished. Let's have a look at the baby. It's another boy and it's got the black eyes, so that's nice. Doesn't have the stinky tail, so I guess we cannot use you other than exploring and collecting food. Now, Vank here, you are the perfect boy, right? So we are gonna promote you into an alpha. You're gonna move south, stay close. The mother is gonna move... Oh no, that was the father. I'm such a moron. There we go. The mother is gonna move over here, get pregnant and collect berries. You're gonna collect berries. You are gonna collect berries and holy cow, we are so filthy, stinking rich in terms of food. There we go, and everyone has collected their food, 680, wow. Another thing that I want to change is the fur. I don't like white too much. What uh, possibilities do we even have? I think maybe we should go with the fur instead of the eye color. Ah, we got the horn colors, that's interesting. Let's maybe also get some antlers in the joint. I would love antlers much more than the horns. So yeah, we're gonna add antlers and the stinky tail this time. Duke here, uh, can you move over here, kill this guy off and collect some food? 
than you, Vankir. I want to use you to breed. So let's move over here so that we know it's you. We got Rame, which is sick, unfortunately. But that's to be expected sometimes, you know. Kuvan, you need to move out of the way so that we can fix this nest. Move over, maybe collect some berries here. Move over, then get pregnant. Oh no, I messed that up again. <laughs> we actually needed to breed with Duke here and he didn't have any moves left. Good, next turn. Come on, I want to see this happen. Uh, first of all, get pregnant. You collect some food. There's lots of food to collect. You need to move out of the way because you are sick. And then I guess for the rest of the time, we're gonna collect a whole bunch of food. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh no, there's a predator. But we have Alami here. She's almost dying, so that's fine. We can go full on and kill this carnivore, possibly. He's got 15 days. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. We're gonna scratch him three times and he's gonna be dead. There we go. Now, we are gonna survive for two days so we can even collect the food from this guy, which is absolutely phenomenal. There we go. Collected all the food. We are almost at... No, we are actually at 700. Check this out. That's the most food I've ever had. All right, and next turn, and the baby is a boy again. It's also sick, I think. Um, yeah, not good for us. How many days do we have to live? Uh, 11 days, so that should be enough in order to at least get two more babies. Oh no, somebody died here. Who was that? Ah, that's too bad. Felt like she or he has been standing there forever. So you are gonna be the replacement. Let's move you over here. There we go. As for the rest of you, you need to do some collecting and killing moles. There we go. With the last day, Alami is going to collect her prize and also some berries. All right, next turn. Please be a girl. Ah, it's another boy. But he's got some good genes, so he could be a backup. You know, could be the next breeding generation in order to go for the stinky tail. You see, the problem is that uh, Vankir is already getting too old to be the mate of a newborn. By the time the newborn is ready to breed, he's gonna be very old and we only have a short amount of time left to get what we want. That is the problem. So, you're gonna move over there and we're gonna breed one more time. Hope for the best. There we go. Fingers crossed. Come on, come on. It's a boy again. What the heck? Stop it with the boys. Let's have a look at the fa- Wow, check this out. Out of what? Two, four, six, eight. We only have one girl. Oh no. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Let's move some out of the way. I want you to move over here. And you are also gonna make your way over to the north. So we got all of these guys, you know, fanning out. I really want to have different fur patterns. That would be great. Everyone is looking the same at the moment, which of course is my mistake, but... Oh, we got a mole here. I almost missed it. There we go. Okay, let's try this one more time. We need a girl. We definitely need a girl. So you move over here, get pregnant into this nest. You collect some more food and you as well. I mean, I cannot use you to breathe anymore. So I guess we're gonna demote you again. I'm so sorry. You're just a normal guy again. I mean, what we could do is actually use two parents in order to breed and try to get, you know, a specific baby. So then we could uh, mate the cousins together again. <laughs> that might be a little bit more humane. What do you think? We don't always have to rely on just one single couple here. Anyways, I almost forgot about you. You have two days left to live, but we're gonna collect some food here. And uh, let's see, let's uh, hope for a girl. It's a boy. Are you freaking serious? It's a boy with two claws. He must have a lot of attack. Yes, yeah, seven attack. Holy Moses. But it's not what we wanted to see. Not at all. Well, let's see. I mean, we still have eight days left to live. It should be enough to, to get a girl in the joint. We don't have any food problems, so I don't see a reason to really be scared about the situation. All right, let's do this. We got another boy. I don't believe this. What the heck? Check this out. Boys. Boys, 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 boys. Horrible times we have to go through here. Okay, Isis, move over here. Get pregnant. Maybe it is her name. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. Wow, look at the amount of animals we have. It's kind of crazy. So if this is gonna be a boy, I'm gonna scream internally for a long time. It is a girl. Finally, with the stinky tail. Wow, that took so long. 
so long. And we can breed her with this guy here. Yeah, Van Vanta. And we will have a much higher chance of getting the stinky tail with the next generation. So let's move you out of the way a little bit. Let's have a look at you. Ah, she does have two runner legs though, but you know, it's better than nothing. Better than freaking nothing. Oh, all right, guys, I think with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap up today's episode. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more of that. If I do more, I'm probably gonna skip a little bit of this island. We might have another attempt at the jungle island, but uh, we shall see how it develops. With that out of the way, have a great time and see you soon. Bye bye.